Hi traders, in this video I just wanted to show you that I put the strategy on a live account and I um, it is a live account so it is very important not just a demo account because I wanted to show you that how important in a development even in the development phase that you are running a live of the algorithm and it is because it gives you a better perspective about the EA about the dynamic exits about how everything is working and it gives you better manners and attitude because why would you put any live money on an algorithm that is that you not trust at all that you know deep in your heart that is going to blow your account so from the get-go from the first tap you are developing something that you kind of believe in you know even in the first step when you only have a couple of entry signals and one or two exit signals and that is what I did and I want to show you how you can follow it you can go to my um, MKL page and you should find it there and also I am putting it uh, in the description of this video uh, this is how it did it had um, around 7% drawdown so far it is doing good but of course we are going to see uh, in the next basically the next weeks next months as I am doing this series and I am always updating the set files and the EA on the signal account when uh, I am doing the video and there are new set files new entry parameters and uh, all these kind of things live testing is also very very important because you want to avoid curve fitting and very soon you would see that your EA is is just basically curve fitted uh, and over optimized if your trades are not reflecting uh, your back tests uh, at all it is something that you should always be careful of one other thing to that if you are testing an EA with a different broker it can be really different because uh, many brokers are providing different tick data different data in general so you should be always careful of that I just wanted to make this quick update and um, so I just wanted to show you how it uh, chose the trades we had a trade here and I think it was kind of a perfect uh, way to open the trade the perfect spot and based on these can these two candles here the, the, uh, that are uh, happened the exit was also great uh, with the entry we could very well improve it because uh, we had uh, an entry here uh, and it was not the best because after that there was a huge red candle but of course we are uh, fine-tuning the stop-loss because of the, the events so it could be a profitable trade a very profitable trade as you could see it uh, the whole system made 28% just over a week of course with high risk and uh, low amount of uh, deposit so you should always think about these kind of things as well here were the trades um, so what I wanted to tell you is that I am running it on the VPS so here you don't see the EA this is the reason pretty good so far and I am going to uh, show you show it to you on a different time frame yeah so it exited this trade and since then I think the prices are a little bit zigzagging they are just ranging here so I think this exit was also good which is interesting in my opinion because think about it this EA you watch the whole series you know everything about this EA is it only has a couple of exits not many not 10 or 15 exit um, exits dynamic exits 
but only a few well um, how would I say it like well strategically placed exits and it 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 looks like it is the way to go so I am proud of this and I just want to do one more thing in this video because I uh, wanted to just show you some trades how it started and why this theory is already working why this algorithm is already working why it is just a couple of simple indicators and the key is I am not saying it is enough for long-term success but it can be and the reason is that not the complexity that is going to bring your strategy forward to success and it is very hard for many traders to understand that you can over overdo it and I did it many times in, in my career and now what when I am saying it is going to be insanely complex it doesn't mean it is going to be insanely complex that it is too curfitted or over optimized and it just has too many indicators randomly no it is going to be built up from the get-go alongside with the live trading and alongside with all these very very uh, important factors like dynamic exits like correlating dynamic exits with each other like as we uh, tested the ATR trailing in the last video you have seen how uh, like if you do it in an intelligent way not just in a I don't know how I say it like a kind of an automatic way you could really achieve good results with a simple strategy but of course after a while um, if you have time if you have the dedication you can build up a system that is pure that has all the necessary functions to make it in the market a long term and that is what uh, I am intend you know to do in this series so stay tuned now in this video I don't want to uh, do too complex stuff because today actually I uh, didn't want to make a video because I was preparing for the video tomorrow but I wanted to make this update with the live trading how you can follow it about the gumroad package about uh, some philosophy and theory behind trading and one more additional thing um, I would like these EA to be more understandable by the users more therefore please make sections uh, with with strings for the inputs where each section has a title now this the reason is why I am actually phrasing it this in this way like uh, in a very careful way is because I, I was running into this many times that it doesn't understand what I want from it so I, just, I am just going to phrase it very carefully and logically so it understands and then I don't have to go back and forth so uh, somebody asked if it's just luck that it doesn't have errors it is not just luck because I tried many ways and actually if you phrase it in a bad way um, it is going to make errors or I mean the errors I mean that it is not going to do the exact thing that you want it to be doing which is you know it wastes time for you so phrase it very well now I will let yes yeah, section with input is section title um, make the sections in order order um, money money management um, exit
exit strategies, um, entry, entry rules, and uh, also separate the different conditions and methods like ATR based trailing um, in the cater based uh, exit so I hope now this uh, is going to be like well described for it so it can understand all the rules this is the code what we need is the code I am copying it again yeah now it is going to do this and I promised it for a long time because if you check it now it is too messy if you check it now it is just like yeah I understand it because I am coding and using EAs every day many for many hours I tested thousands of EAs it can be really overwhelming this this bunch of parameters together so I want some structure and I was really playing with the idea to just do the structure by code not with chat GPT because it's so much easier by code but then I realized I am not doing this because of myself I am doing this because of you because I want traders to be able to test their strategies to code these types of um, uh, algorithms with chat GPT or any type of other on any other AI system because there are a bunch of AI systems now <laughs> and maybe in the future I'm going to make videos about um, them which are the best for what kind of tasks because uh, here as well in ChatGPT I like this model but some people are using the uh, 4.0 model so you know okay let's just uh, copy it and paste it and see what kind of structure we have now because sometimes it doesn't understand okay it's fair enough it, it didn't understand one thing which was to separate uh, the different types like indicator based and AT ATR is an indicator also so my uh, phrasing was not correct yeah uh, yeah it, the type the type is not indicator based and ATR, it, what I meant, what I wanted to uh, say, but I'm a bit tired now, uh, it was that the type, so basically when you are doing it based on an indicator cross, for example, the exit, and with a trailing stop, which is a very different type, this kind of stuff, but uh, my phrasing was not good. At least now we have something like money management, exit strategies we have this kind of stuff which is which is great which is great some structure and the entry rules we have some structure the the maximum allowed spreading peeps and this one is not going to be here I, I am telling you it is not going to be there it is not what I wanted <laughs> but I didn't tell it so please put the Put the uh, max spread and trading hours feel tears to the top in a section called general settings because there are going to be many many sections when we are I, I don't know if I want to really finish this series at some point or if I just go forever and uh, improve it that it is going to be the best EA out there who knows but but uh, there are going to be tens of sections not just three or four so this is why I want to structure it even in the beginning as for the inputs go I hope you understand if you're a coder I'm sure you understand 
if you're a trader I think you understand it as well if you are a beginner in this whole thing you should learn it it is very important to know your EA very well so this is why we are doing these things let's see if it because it is also a test if it understands my yeah my uh, asks yeah it is perfect maximum yeah yeah very good so in this video I just wanted to show you this um, so the live account is very exciting um, I am going to update it tomorrow I think when I am doing the new um, video and uh, when I am adding the new entry um, conditions to the EA we are going to have another update to the signal and to the to the EA to the uh, Gumroad pack as well if you are following this video series then uh, you are going to have an amazing video today uh, and tomorrow and after that as well because I am planning many many new stuff that I think you never heard of some of those things and I got some great feedback ab about the last video with the ATR trading um, and the break-even parts when I am explaining these in detail and, and and showing you basic testings with them and how they are changing the structure of the um, statistics and chart so yeah I think we are on the right track let me know in the comments subscribe to the channel and share this video I don't know because I think this series would deserve a good amount of viewers objectively but who knows uh, t tell me because uh, I want to improve this series if you have any um, questions and uh, you want to learn something specific let me know in the comments ciao